This drive across the desert is a test ride for a full-scale version of a propulsion system that the Southern California company Overair plans to use in electric flying taxis. Company engineers are working on EV Toll, that's electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, with six-meter rotors and the latest developments in electric motors and batteries to help lift passengers above crowded roadways. This aircraft, with its range of 100 nautical miles or a little over 115, 120 miles, um, basically can serve uh, the greater. LA area. So our aircraft has room for luggage as well as five passengers. We think it'll be great for families trying to get to a long-haul flight and it will really change how people make decisions about how they get around in an urban area. City officials say the early promise of urban air mobility brings with it many questions, including the infrastructure for flying taxis and oversight by the Federal Aviation Administration or FAA. I think obviously the FAA is going to have a huge role to play and, and and they are the ones that are that are actually thinking about and considering um, possibly providing some sort of permits uh, for this process as early as 2025. And then at the local level, you know, we really get into you know land use uh, uh, powers around where things can can um, or take off and land. Um, and I think the other value add that cities bring again is that very hyper local perspective around how this is going to impact real people. Some Angelinos are skeptical about flying taxis. Think of all of those landing spots. That seems like chaos waiting to happen. It's like, so now you need like entire zones where people are taking off and landing from that are allowed. It's like you can't just land anywhere. It's like it seems like you're just going to crash all the time. The German company Volocopter was the first to lift a person in the air in 2011 using solely electric power. Today, the firm's Volocity is a two-seater electric aircraft with 18 rotors. When we have flown in Singapore, in the city center, I hoped that a lot of people, you know, uh, there are a lot of tourists, will applaud and look to the Volocopter and, and look at it. They did not. Why? They did not hear it. So it was bad for marketing, but good for the, from the authorities, they loved it. So it's very silent and you will not see it, uh, even it will be a small dot in the sky. Volocopter flew its Volocity over Paris in November with plans for short commercial flights by the 2024 Paris Olympics. Los Angeles officials are working to have air taxis operational by the Olympics here in 2028. Jenya Dulu for VOA News, Los Angeles.